Go to the first link in the description, it will take you to this site. If you get this pop-up, close it. If you can't really speak Spanish like me, just let Google translate this site for you. You can choose English by clicking on the three dots and then choose another language. If you're not using a browser that can translate sites for free for some reason, please just use the Chrome browser for this. A tutorial for other browsers is also in the description. You do need a new Adobe account for this, so if you're logged in, please log out. If you already have a subscription, you can cancel it by clicking on the fifth link in the description. Manage plan, cancel plan. Then you may need to log in again. Here just choose too expensive. Then follow the next steps until your plan is cancelled. If you bought a subscription in the last 14 days, for example on Black Friday, you can still get a refund. Now let's go back to the original site. Here you need to scroll way down and click on see plans and prices. And as you can see here, the price is 809 Argentine pesos, which is 4.81 US dollars, which is roughly 58 US dollars per year. I highly recommend you to choose the annual prepaid plan, there are no price differences between the two. You by the way only need to do this once, after that you got the price forever. And maybe it will get even cheaper because of the hyperinflation in Argentina. If you click on Comprar ahora, you will get taken to this page where you need to enter your email. Note that you need to use an email that you have never used before for an Adobe account. If you need a second email, just click on the sixth link in the description where you can create a new Google account which gives you a free new email. If you want to use an email of yours that is currently connected to an Adobe account, you can try to delete the account by going to the seventh link in the description. After entering your email, you get taken to this page, where you first need to enter your credit card details. So here your credit card number, here the expiration date and here the CVV. You can unfortunately only pay by credit card. Here just enter a fake or your real name. So next you need to go to this site. It's the second link in the description. Set the quantity to 1 and generate until you got a good address. Then just copy all the information over by using Ctrl plus C to copy and Ctrl plus V to paste on Windows or Command plus C and Command plus V on Mac. To find out the postal code, just google your state postal code and just copy over one of these. For the QIT, go to the third link in the description and copy this number over. Now you have step 1 done and for step 2, first go to the fourth link in the description, choose one of the universities and copy the name over. After that, just choose the random study area, graduation month and graduation year and then click on access and subscribe. That's it. Thank me later.